Kyle, you're welcome to yet another edition of One on One Tourism and Business Africa on Twitter Conversation on Clevina TV. My name is Frank Alidi Midana. Always, I'd like to encourage you to keep sign up with us on www.clevina.com. All right, we'll be discussing African Celebrate Addis Ababa 2023. And my guest is Lexi Mojo Ait. Mr. Mojo is the CEO of Legendary Gold Limited. Organizer of Africa celebrates at this about 2020. You're welcome to the program. Thank Jared. you so much, Frank. It's nice to be here with you. Uh, good to have you on board, sir. Uh, let, let, let's start with this, please. Could you please introduce yourself? I know I've said one or two things, but we want to be for introduction. Yes, my name is Lexi Mojo Eyes. I am President CEO of um, Legendary Good Limited. We are organizers of Africa Celebrates. That is um, an event that is um, that covers the whole of the African continent. But back home in Nigeria, where we have our corporate office, we also own and organize the Nigeria Fashion Week, the Nigeria Fashion Show, the Africa Fashion Reception, and a lots lots of other events. All right. Okay. Now, now let's get to the, the concept of African celebrates. What is it all about? We know you are an icon in the fashion industry. Now, how did this concept came about, and what is it all about? Okay, Africa um, celebrates kicked started actually in 2021. You know, just tracing my history back a bit, we got the Nigerian fashion industry started since 1990 we started by reorienting um, nigerian designers to look inward to look at fabrics accessories and designs and we also reoriented nigerians to wear nigerian clothes to patronize the nigerian fashion industry because we felt that uh, the only way nigeria can improve or increase its gdp you know through fashion is through export and through export is by using local fabrics, accessories, and designs, you know. So we introduced the first event, Nigeria Fashion Show, in 1997. Every year we had Nigeria Fashion Show. And in 2000, we had our first international event in Paris, where we took 10, 10 top Nigerian designers to Paris. And after then, we've had events in Milan, in New York, in London, around the world, you know, with Nigerian designers. In um, I'm just giving you a, a history, a history of 30 years in few minutes. In, um, in 2008, I mean, my work as promoting African and Nigerian fashion got recognized by the World Fashion Organization, you know, and they appointed me in 2009 as the only African on the Board of Governors of the World Fashion Organization. The World Fashion Organization is based in New York, in Los Angeles, in Shanghai, and about 20 cities around the world. You know, so in 10 years down the line, I became the only African on the Board of Governors of the World Fashion Organization. Um, in 2011, I got, I got approached by the African Union and UNESCO to replicate the Nigerian success story in the fashion industry to the rest of Africa. You know, but before then, while we were pioneering the fashion industry, my colleagues were pioneering the film and music industries. You know, so then, you know, they would come to me and ask me to ask my designer to make clothes for the Nollywood stars and the music stars, you know, and that was how Nigerian fashion became popular all over the world through Nollywood as well. You know, so the rest of every other country so I, across Africa started looking forward to Nigeria, started copying what we were doing in Nigeria. You know, so when we got approached, when I got approached by UNESCO and the African Union to rep replicate the Nigerian success story in the fashion industry to the rest of the continent, we introduced an event called the Africa Fashion Reception, which we launched in Paris in 2013. You know, so from 2014, we started having two Africa fashion reception events. You know, one is called the African Edition, hosted by the African Union in um, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And the second one, which we call the Global Edition, hosted by 
UNESCO in Paris. You know, so we bring African designers and um, entrepreneurs from all over Africa twice a year to Addis Ababa and Paris. You know, so in 2021, 2021 was declared as a year of art, culture, and heritage by the African Union. You know, every year the African Union declares a theme for the whole of the continent, you know, to adapt and to execute. So in 2021, it was art, culture, heritage. That was a theme for all African countries to, to, um, to execute, you know. So they approached my company to say we should put together an event that will capture um, that, that theme, art, um, culture, and heritage. M my company is not just into event organization. We curate events as well. We come up with ideas. If, for example, organizations want any event, you can just discuss with us. We put it together for you. And we can also help. We package it properly. We can organize it for you as well. You know, so we came up with the idea, Africa celebrates art, culture, heritage, and business. So we added business component to it because nothing works without business. So we had the first event in 2021 at the AU, you know, and we had 18 African countries participating. So last year was the second, and we, we had 32 African countries participating. So this year is the third edition. We're hoping to have more countries we are looking forward to some at some point where all 55 countries, African countries, will, particip will be participating annually at the Africa Fashion. Um, I mean, that they Af at Africa Celebrates. So the goal of the Af of Africa Celebrates is um, is to encourage integration across the continent. You know, because uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I'll, I'll actually get to that question. But you know, when you are too linked in an explanation, the audience tends to not get the information given. We'll actually get to that. All right. We've actually known you for a while now in the fashion industry, which is no longer news. All right. Now you organize this program to bring out the culture of Africa through an African uh, fashion, Nigeria fashion to be precise. All right. Now let's discuss the aims, the goals, and the the objectives of starting these events. That is of Africa Celebrates, right? Exactly. Yes, so the goal of Africa Celebrate is to celebrate Africa in all human endeavors, in art, in culture, in heritage, in dance, in cuisine, in music, innovation and technology, in business, you know, all areas of human endeavors. You know, it's an event where Africans and non-Africans from around the world come together in five days to come and enjoy the real, authentic African hospitality. You know, some of the goal is integration, bringing Africans both on the continent and in the diaspora together, you know, to appreciate African culture, you know, and it's also meant to um, promote tourism also intra and inter-African trade, you know, among Africans. All, all these components for Africans to celebrate among themselves, enjoy their hospitality, and also open, up, open it up to the rest of the world to enjoy the best that Africa has to offer, you know. So bottom line is for us to encourage both Africans, you know, and non-Africans to enjoy African food, wear African clothes, dance with Africa, you know, just enjoy life with Africa. Because when you talk of the best kind of entertainment, authentic, unadulterated, as compared to any part of the world, it comes from Africa, really. You know, and like they say, um, the civilization of the world came from Africa, from Egypt. Early civilization started in Egypt. You know what I mean? You know, so whatever the rest of the world is doing is what they copied from Africa. So let them, we want them to come and really enjoy, you know, real African hospitality while they do business in the process. In the process of doing business, they enjoy African hospitality. Yeah. All right. So in your subsequent edition, has there been any positive feedback? Yes, a lot of positive feedback. That's why we have been growing from year to year. First year, I told you we had 18 countries. Second year, we had 32 countries and 
um, up to like 10 countries from outside Africa attending. You know, so the, the feedback has been very positive. And also to tell you that Africa Fashion Reception, which we started with presently, is the Gala Fashion and Award Night for Africa Celebrates. So on the last day, we, we now have Africa Fashion Reception as a Gala event for Africa Celebrates. So we are going to do this course that's pulling as the interview process. But here, we we'll like to take a very short break, and then we will come back, we'll discuss this year's event in prospecting. Let's sell on your behalf. If your item sells on our web shop, you pay a 10% commission plus the transaction fees and you get the rest. Register now at www.shop.clevenard.com. Start uploading your product and services. We can really sell it on your behalf so you can carry on working on the things important to you. Are you looking to sell any type of product or service and you want to avoid the hassle involved. Selling can be an arduous and time-consuming process. At Clevenard Supershop, we will be happy to take over the workload of promoting or selling your products or services. All you need to do is to register at www.shop.clevenard.com, enter your shop or vendor information, and then start uploading your product and services. We will do the selling. Now, be ready to get more sales and awareness. Start making more money from your business with Clevenard Supershop by partnering with us today. Hi, right, you're welcome back and we are still with Lexi Mojo Eyes. We're still discussing Africa Celebrate 2023. And if you are not yet signed up with us, please, this is another opportunity. Please do so on W www.clevina.com. All right, back to you, Mr. Mojo. All right, what are the main features of our uh, this year's edition of African Celebrates? Okay, like the name suggests, Africa Celebrates Art, Culture, Heritage, and Business. Um, we have all components. We have an exhibition that will last for, uh, that will last for the period of time. Um, exhibition of all made in African products from across the continent to last for all five days. Then, then we have um, the business forums we, we start. We have the grand opening the first day and usually it's at the African Union in Addis Ababa. Um, then from the second day we have the business forums. There are various business forums you know, for the creative industry, music, fashion, dance, films, you know, we have them in the next two days from um, 9 a.m. till about 5 p.m. daily. Then we have the big business forum. It's called um, African Global Economic and Development Summit, you know, where we have business people from all over Africa you know, joining their, their counterparts, uh, we are getting their counterparts from the US, from Europe, from other parts of the world to join them. For those that want to invest in Africa, because Africa is the new frontier, frontiers, you know. So we are have the business forum, we're going for two days as well, 9 to 5 p.m. every day. Then every day from 7 p.m. till dawn, we have all the cultural events taking place, place dances, music, um, um, you know, very, very, and, and we, most importantly, we have African cuisine, uh, various African cuisines every evening, you know, to welcome guests. So you have the opportunity of testing, you know, then we have a top package for guests coming from outside Ethiopia. You know, that goes on for for the last day and on the last day we also have a big concert of top african artists you know so those are some of the pro some of the programs that will take place during the five days all right at the course of the interview we're still going to like pick those pictures out and explain it better all right but um, let me ask this question do you think the events okay you heard now for this is the third uh, edition now does it really serve as a catalyst for social and economic growth? 
Yes, definitely. That's the, I mean, we're talking of, we're talking of, you know, the creative industry and we're talking of real business and we're talking of tourism, you know, so it has a bit of everything. There's nothing you, there's nothing, there's nothing humans do that is not directly or indirectly related to African celebrates. You know, so it also is a platform for African African integration and social economic growth. You know, yeah. So is that the reason for the cross country posting? Say that again. Is that the reason why you had to like post it in different countries in every um, of the events? No, we don't host in every country. We only host in Ethiopia at this Ababa. Just in yes, every year everybody gathers here. You know, Ethiopia, that is where the African Union's headquarters is. Yeah. You know, and you know the African Union, all 55 African countries are members of the African Union. And you know, once every year, all the, pre all, all the presidents and prime ministers of Africa, every February they come to Addis Ababa to meet at the African Union. And that is where all the big businesses from across the continent takes place as well. You know, so I, Ethiopia um, is uh, like um, the capital of Africa. You know, apart from okay. Brussels and New York, the third um, city in the world that has the highest concentration of diplomats is uh, Addis Ababa. Yes, oh. aside, as in the, I mean, globally, after New York and Brussels, the next city that has the highest concentration of diplomats, you know, and international organizations is Addis Ababa. I mean, ahead of ahead of um, of Switzerland, Switzerland, you know, all the international organizations are there. Every single international organization is is in Addis Ababa, you know. So that is why we brought it like to the capital of Africa. So I'd like us to discuss uh, the features of this year's edition proper. I know you've talked, you said one of two things about it, which is the African Global Economic and Development Summit. All right, but I still want to like to elaborate more on, on that for the interest of the general public and the, the guests as well. What is the agenda of that summit? So well, for, uh, for each summit, we're going to have panel sessions, we are going to have presentation. That means um, investment opportunities in the various African countries. Most of the countries are going to be making presentation. That is for our international business men and business organizations that wants to invest in Africa. Okay. You know, we are going to have ministers of trade and investment, chambers of commerce from across the continent. You know, all of them will be in Addis Ababa for the for the. the um, African Global Economic and Development Summit. Then we are going to have some matchmaking events where those, I mean, why um, um, organizations in Africa, you know, have various projects that they think they need international investors. Why they make those presentations? We also will have international investors that may want to invest in those projects. You know, so it's a situation whereby international business people from around the world, they come to Addis Ababa for, during African Celebrates, to meet the whole of the continent, the whole investment opportunities on the continent. You know, instead of them going to all 55 countries, they come to one spot, and they are like in all the 55 countries. You know what I mean? You know, so that is for the business forum. We have Africa Business, um, Africa Fashion Business Summit. It's for fashion entrepreneurs and fashion designers, you know, to discuss the business of fashion, to discuss how um, each of the countries can work with themselves and do business together, you know, and dis discuss some of the issues and some of the problems, some of the challenges they face in the course of doing business and seeing how they can sum out some of some of these issues. You know, they're not to talk of the gala fashion event that brings designers from all over Africa just one designer from each country, you know, representing each country wow. and presenting their rich and diversified dress cultures to the rest of the world, you know, yeah. 
So how do you make, how do you select the designers to represent a particular country? We advertise and they all apply online with their portfolios, what we call a lookbook. And we have an executive board that selects the one designer that represents each of the countries. So is the advert presently going on now? No, in another two weeks. It will start running in another two weeks. So when exactly is this year's edition? Please, let's take that again. 25th, 25th to 29th of October at the African Union in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Right. So other ventures apart from, other um, vendors apart from fashion houses and products, are they allowed to be part of this event? Yes, I mean, all made in Africa products. They are allowed to exhibit mm. during the five days. They are allowed to be part of the business forums, you know, to be part of all the activities that are, that are taking place. Is that I will take another short break here and we will come back to the wrap. Let's sell on your behalf. If your item sells on our web shop, you pay a 10% commission plus the transaction fees and you get the rest. Register now at www.shop.clevenard.com. Start uploading your product and services. We can really sell it on your behalf so you can carry on working on the things important to you. Are you looking to sell any type of product or service and you want to avoid the hassle involved. Selling can be an arduous and time-consuming process. At Clevenard Supershop, we will be happy to take over the workload of promoting or selling your products or services. All you need to do is to register at www.shop.clevenard.com, enter your shop or vendor information, and then start uploading your product and services. We will do the selling. Now, be ready to get more sales and awareness. Start making more money from your business with Clevenard Supershop by partnering with us today. Hello, guys. You welcome back. All right, Mr. Bojo, we are still on with you. Alan, I want to log to just explain this concept. All right, what are your recommendations for leaderships? Okay, in projecting culture. For economic development. Sorry, I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I said, what are your recommendations, okay, for African leadership, for the leaders of Africa in projecting culture for economic development? Because obviously, what you are doing, you've been doing that from there, just your own business side. Are there roles that the governments of each of these African countries are supposed to play? And if there are, what are they? No, there are a lot, they have a lot of roles. Because when you lose touch of your culture, you've lost self-consciousness. You know, you, you've lost self-prestige, you know, when you lose your culture. So it is important for leaders in Africa to encourage our rich cultural heritage. You know, because when we went through colonialism, a whole lot of things changed for us. Our language, our clothes, the things we wear, the food we eat, you know, our lifestyles generally changed, you know. But what makes a nation or a people special is their culture, you know. So it is high time we go back there. It is high time we, we revive our cultures because that is what a lot of people from all over the world will come and see. We want to come and experience. You know, nobody wants to come, no um, American or, or British wants to come from the UK or, or from the US, you know, to come and be eating pizza or to come and be eating salad and stuff. You know what I mean? They want to experience the local food. They want to experience the local culture, the local language, you know, and that on its own, if we do it properly, I mean, it is it's the biggest source of revenue. France, for example, France, for example, has nothing to offer. But millions of people go to Paris every year just to look at the Eiffel Tower. What is the Eiffel Tower? That is rubbish. That is nothing. As compared to the rich culture that, you know, is all over Africa. 
which people will die to come and see. You know what I mean? You know, so it is high time, apart from all the natural resources in Africa, it is high time for our leaders to build tourism, you know, to, to make Africa as the um, greatest um, tourism destination in the world. You know what I mean? So it is very important because that alone can, can increase the GDP of the citizenry of our continent. And the good thing also is from one country to another, it varies. What you see in Ethiopia is a little bit different from what you see from Eritrea, from what you see from Sudan, from what you see uh, from Uganda, that is East Africa, then West Africa from Ghana to Nigeria to, uh, to Gabon, you know, to Cote d'Ivoire in West Africa, South Africa, Southern Africa from South Africa to Botswana to Namibia, they all vary. Central Africa from Cameroon to DRC, you know, to Central African Republic, they vary. North Africa, um, um, Egypt, which we, I mean, which has the um, oldest civilization, to Tunisia, to Algeria, you know, these cultures, they all vary and very, very rich. They can attract the rest of the world. But it's just that we have never made any consented effort to market it, to package it properly first and to start marketing it. You know, so that has a lot, you know, African tour tourism has a lot to offer the world. All right. Apart from the government coming into play now, is that role, is that a role or are there roles that the private sectors can play in it? Private sector, we're already, the private sector, we're already doing our own. It's only the private sector that's already doing everything. Trying to engage the... You agree, that, you agree with me that there is still room for more to come on? Board. There is, but government must have to create an enabling environment for those that are already there, where we're encouraging more to join. Government has a big role to play so that those that are already there are finding it not so challenging. You know, because a lot of these things we do, you know, we need proper government policies to make it easier for practitioners. Otherwise, we end, you just end up putting so much, so much effort and your results are not so much. Because whether you like it or not, it is, it is, it, this is government business. We need the, the right policies from government, the enabling environment for us to be able to develop the tourism sector. Very, very important. All right, from your own side, with uh, in your own industry, the fashion industry and all that, do you have any social plans? The if they out, let's get together and do things about it. What did you ask? Yeah, do you have any future plans from your in your own industry now, the fashion industry? Okay, I I, I mean um, it's it's uh, our industry is not just fashion now; it's about art is about culture is about heritage everything put together you know so we um right now we are in conversation with our partners in in the in the us you know we have various partners we are working with one we have the global green development group there is southern california um company they are the ones that are putting together the african global economic and development summit you know, before now, they were bringing Africa to America for this same purpose, you know, but they stopped for some time because, you know, at some, the last uh, administration in the U.S. was not very friendly to Africa. So they had a lot, whole lot of issues getting visas and stuff. So now they are coming back with their event as part of Africa Celebrates. And also we are planning to take Africa Celebrates to the U.S., maybe in November, December, this year, we're taking Africa Celebrates to Washington, D.C. That means we're taking Africa culture, Africa heritage, African business, you know, to their counterparts in the U.S. so that even Africans in the diaspora in the U.S., they can be very, very proud of how rich our culture is. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Lexi Mojo. Right. Uh, like, let's summarize this event, African Celebrate. Let's just give a brief summary. 
So yes, Africa celebrates comes up 25th to the 29th of October at the African Union in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Africa celebrates is welcoming all countries across the African continent to Addis Ababa. We are also to come and present their cult rich cultural heritage in terms of music, dance, cuisine, fashion, and the rest of them. We are also inviting the rest of the world to join us on the continent in Africa, in Addis Ababa, you know, to enjoy African rich hospitality for five days while they are doing business with African business people, you know, and while they are also patronizing um, African products. We're encouraging them to eat African food, wear African clothes, dance with us on the continent, enjoy our, enjoy, you know, our products and the rest of them. Yeah. All right, so for those that want to be part of the program or do not know how to reach you, how can they reach you? Yes, yeah, they should just go to www.africacelebrates.com. That is the website, www.africacelebrates.com. You know, all the information are there, registration process is there, you know, and good enough, you know, hotels are discounted. We we um, we are partnering with Skylight Hotel, which is like the biggest hotel on the continent in Africa. You know, with all facilities you can imagine, better facilities than a lot of the facilities you will see in Europe and America. Then we're also partnering with Ethiopian Airlines, which is like the second largest airline in the world, you know, with over 120 destinations. You know, they are our official partners. So you get discounted rates flying Ethiopian Airlines, you know, to Africa celebrates in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And you also get discounted rates in the hotel, in Skylight Hotel in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Thank you so much for being our guest today for discussing Africa celebrate and for all you are doing to raise the culture of Africa. Thanks for having me with us. Thank you for having me. Most appreciated. You're welcome. And I guess we wrap it here for today. And to the next edition, we will come your way with another interesting guest in this program. I remember Frank and Do have a blessed evening. Thank you.